In modern data and computer science, the sheer volume of information that we can collect is becoming problematic. Our ability to collect data far outstrips our abilities to sort and analyze it. As datasets grow increasingly massive and unwieldy, there's a need for new algorithms that can process the data faster and more accurately. At UC Berkeley, Professor Michael Mahoney has been working with computer scientist Petros Dreneas on a potential solution. Randomized numerical linear algebra is an interdisciplinary approach that uses randomization as a computational or algorithmic resource to solve massive linear algebra problems by efficiently sampling to create new, smaller matrices that can serve as a proxy for the original data sets but are more manageable in size. Their paper, RAND NLA Randomized Numerical Linear Algebra, published in the June 2016 issue of the CACM, explores the current state of randomized numerical linear algebra and discusses how it can be applied to topics as varied as genetics, astronomy, and climate science. Linear algebra is the mathematics of vector spaces and linear transformations between vector spaces. And it's really been at the center of developments in large-scale data analysis. Randomness is an interesting thing. Most people think there's sort of randomness in the data, and, and oftentimes when statisticians model data, uh, they think of it as randomness. You have some sort of signal plus a little bit of noise, or randomness. From a computer science perspective, randomness can also be sort of a computational resource, an algorithmic resource. And there are problems for which you cannot solve them deterministically in, in a reasonable amount of time, but you can use randomness and solve them to a very high quality approximation. So randomized linear algebra is a very good model for truly interdisciplinary research in this area of large-scale data analysis. These algorithms have been applied in a bunch of different application areas. It's also been applied to atmospheric data and to climate data and to ocean data. In this example, we consider genetics data the form of single nucleotide polymorphisms. Geneticists are interested in this because it can get at population genetics and more clinically there's applications in, in precision medicine and personalized medicine. We took the genetics data, the SNP data, and encoded it in a matrix and we considered what does this matrix look like when we project it onto the top three principal components you have a particular structure which provides visual support for the so-called out-of-Africa hypothesis. So this is nice and it provides the basis for a range of work that Petros Trinaeus and I and others have done in genetics, but it also provides an example more generally for how randomized numerical linear algebra can be used in this area. These analytical methods are powerful, but they can be challenging to use. First off, manipulating the data for this kind of analysis requires creating low-rank approximations, which can take a lot of computational power, especially when they're used in an exploratory manner. Second, these results are based on the mathematical properties of principal components and eigenvectors, which are notoriously difficult to interpret in terms of the original data and units. These can be essential to machine learning and data science, but they are linear combinations that may include all the data elements together, which makes them of limited usefulness to geneticists. It's safe to say that most scientists want the output of their algorithms to be something they can interpret easily. So this provides two motivations for a lot of the work in randomized linear algebra. One is to speed up matrix algorithms for very, very large data sets. And the other is to come up with novel matrix decompositions that are interpretable and more useful in downstream data analysis applications. To find out more, read Professor Mahoney and Petros Dreneus' article, Randomized Numerical Linear Algebra, in the June 2016 issue of the CACM. Mm -hmm.